Safety, of course, is on every parent's mind as their little trick-or-treaters head out for Halloween. But some in our area are ghosting the old tradition for trunk and treating. Valley News Team's Callie Hubbard tells us how it's easing the fears of going out into the neighborhood. It takes a few cars. It's supposed to be a tree, so I'd have a tree house if I sat in it. A little bit of spirit. We have a unicorn, too! Oh, it's a Unilama. <laughs> That's Lama. even better. And a few families like Angel Murphy's. I have my daughter, Journey, and her best friend, Kiana. To put on a trunk or treat. I've been to a couple in Moorhead, a couple of churches, some in West Fargo. They've been everywhere. As we get closer to Halloween, more and more are happening around the FM Metro. And they say trunk or treats are safer. Kids are more than twice as likely to be hit by a car and killed on Halloween than any other day of the year. Organizers say they like trunk or treating because you know the people coming and you're confident of what's going in the bucket. Hi, here you go. Pick your favorite. You're not going to strange houses, for me anyways. I always thought that was kind of scary for Halloween. I think it's just a lot more um, fun, more groups of people can get involved. So is the old tradition dying? I mean, I'm not sure. We probably do about an hour, not as long as we use. Usually, it just depends on the weather. Definitely have flashlights. Make sure you're wearing bright colors. Wear flashy little emblems or stickers. And don't leave your group. In Fargo, Callie Hubbard, Valley News Live. Here's another option. You can check out the opportunities at local nursing homes. For more information on that, head to our website, valleynewslive.com.